नमस्कार दिस इज डॉक्टर रोहित एंड यू आर वॉचिंग साइंटिस्ट आर अकेडमी टू वर्ड साइंटिफिक वर्ड वी हैव स्टार्टेड सी यू टी पी जी लाइव साइंस लेक्चर सीरीज एंड दिस इज आर लेक्चर फर्स्ट पेपर क्रोमाग्राफी फ्रॉम द यूनिट फर्स्ट कॉल्ड टेक्निक्स इन अपकमिंग डेज वी आर गोइंग टू अपलोड डिफरेंट लेक्चर्स ऑन द डिफरेंट यूनिट्स डिफरेंट कॉन्सेप्ट फॉर द सी यू टी पी जी लाइव साइंसेस सो फर्स्ट वी आर गोइंग टू अंडरस्टैंड वॉट इज क्रोमाटोग्राफी Now, chromatography is an important biophysical technique, which is used for the separation, identification, and the purification of different components from the mixture for the qualitative and the quantitative analysis. So, what is chromatography? Chromatography is what it is a biophysical technique which is used for the separation, identification, purification of different components from the mixture for the qualitative and quantitative analysis. For example, consider this is one mixture. This is one sample, or this one mixture. From this mixture, we have to, if we want to identify sample A or component A plus component B plus component C from this mixture, then that time we have to perform the chromatography. With the help of chromatography, we can easily identify and purify component A, B, C from the mixture of sample. <coughs> first time this technique was uh, uh, was studied or was the, the term first time discovered by the scientist michael twist in 1906 furthermore the scientist martin and james studied fatty acid mixtures what they studied they studied fatty acid mixtures so with the help of gas chromatography and afterwards the different chromatography techniques came into exist <coughs> a wide range of chromatography procedures may use for the different purposes uh, and we can separate out different types of molecules based on their size binding affinity charges and other properties the chromatography is a such a powerful technique so with the help of this technique we can purify we can uh, identify different components for example if something uh, if like like example is the like crime scene if crime scene is happened and we can easily identify the blood sample of the enemy and blood sample of the crime master we can see this picture in this image we can easily see what is the chromatography now what is the principle now see the chromatography principle is totally based on the two phases first phase is stationary phase which is called as stable phase another one is a mobile phase means what see whatever mixture of sam mixture or whatever the sample we have that sample or that mixture we are going to put on a chromatography paper and this paper we are going to put uh, through the two phases first stationary phase another one is a mobile phase the sample will flow through these two phases and at the end you will get the different components from the mixture of samples the factors effective on the separation of process mostly includes the adsorption partition and affinity or difference among the their molecular weights these are the three important factors which creates impact on the molecules because of this difference some component of the mixture stay longer in the stationary phase and they move slowly in the chromatography system while well, other pass rapidly into mobile phase and leave the system faster this is totally depends on the properties or the characteristics of that specific component because of these characteristics or properties the component may separate out very faster or very slow three components thus form the basis of chromatography technique mostly first one stationary phase as i was telling this so what is stationary phase so this phase is always composed of solid phase or a layer of liquid adsorbed on the surface of solid support basically we are saying solid phase mobile phase is nothing but what it is a liquid or liquid is used for example solvent separated molecules now see uh, molecules means what the mixture what mixture we are going to uh put on a paper chromatography that is known as separated molecules or and at the same time which molecules we are going to be separate out from the sample now this is the actual uh figure or actual picture which depicts the 
chromatography. Now this is the sample of leaves. Uh, this leaf, leaves have to crush. We have, after crushing, we will get the extract. This extract we have to put on a we have to put on the paper chromatography. Now this is the paper chromatography we have uh, kept in a chamber where acetone solvent is there. After spotting the leaf extract on the paper chromography, we have to uh, incubate it for an some hour. After some hours, what we will get? We will find out different uh, pigments, right, or different spots on the paper chromatography. And here we can easily identify the anthocyanin, chlorophyll A, chlorophyll B, carotenoids, xanthophylls, carotenoids. These different um, components are separate out from this only one leaf spotted or only one leaf uh, extract. Okay, so this is what the chromatography is like here we can separate out the single component or simple uh, any component from the mixture of components now what are the simple applications now first pharmaceutical sector now chromatography is widely used in the pharmaceutical sector for the identification of uh, different types of trace molecules or chemicals it is used to separate out different uh, molecules based on their molecular weight and the composition it is also used to detect the purity of uh, mixture also used in the drug development. Similarly, it is used in the chemical industry, uh, for example, in that water testing and to check the air quality. The HPLC and GC is mostly used in the chemistry industry, chemical industry for the different types of uh, molecule identification, for example, PCBs. It is used in the life science applications. Food industry, it is used uh, to identify the food spoilage uh, and the molecule which is responsible for the food spoilage. It is used to determine the nutritional quality of food. It is used in the forensic pathology and crime scene testing like analyzing blood and hair samples of crime place. It is used in the molecular biology studies. Okay. So these are some applications of chromatography. Thanks a lot. If you have any question, you can comment or you can mail us. And in upcoming lecture, we are going to see the paper chromatography with principle, mechanism and the steps and the applications.